Okay, so first and foremost, what we want to do um, in order to remove the first three spark plugs is we want to remove this cover here. Um, there are two tabs underneath here on the back of this cover that literally just pull up. And then uh, before you do that, you'll actually want to get in here with a uh, six millimeter uh, socket and uh, pull these out, all three of those, remove the oil cap. And then once you've done that, you'll just literally pull up on the back of this and those will unsnap. And then you have access to the first three spark plugs. These first three spark plugs are very easy to uh, change out. There's a 10 millimeter bolt uh, for each of them here. You undo the wire harness there. Uh, and then you'll simply pop this out um, just like we do in the rear. <clears throat> There's a uh, gasket underneath here that you want to make sure stays on. Uh, clean all that up and then wipe this area down around uh, the spark plug uh, area just to keep it clean. Um, while I'm working on anything up here, I always just take the oil cap and just stick it back in there. You don't have to tighten it all down, just, just kind of stick it in there just so nothing gets down into your engine there. So in order to remove all of this and remove the uh, air uh, filter cover, um, we basically need to undo this clamp. You can see that it's just a simple clamp and you'll pull it from uh, the intake here. Um, we also need to undo these two hoses. Uh, they were here and here. Yellow matches up so you know which one is which. So it was like that. And then there's a hose that goes from here to here, which I'm actually replacing so you don't see it, but it would just go from there to there. Um, this hose actually goes into here, and then this hose here actually just goes into uh, the air filter cover itself. Um, and that pretty much gets you all disconnected as far as hoses go um, from anything to do with the air. That way you can actually remove this uh, without that getting in your way. So before we actually uh, dismantle the air filter cover, uh, we just need to loosen this wire harness here. There's a tab, press it, and pull it right off. Uh, and then just replace it once you're done installing the new air filter. Okay, so the way that the air filter actually uh, comes out, the top is basically hinged uh, by two hinges here. They're just plastic hinges. And this will just fold out once you lift up this side. Now there's two bolts here. You have to undo this and another one on this side that's 10 millimeter. So you'll undo those. And then what I do is I undo both of these hose clamps. And I prefer, in this instance, to remove, um, leave basically the uh, hose on the air filter cover. Um, and take it off this way. It's a little bit more flexible that way. So when you put it back on, just match up that hose and then uh, fold this in. Okay, so in this case, on the 2005 Toyota Camry V6, um, I'm actually replacing the air filter with a k &N air filter. So we've actually put that in there. You notice there's four rounded uh, corners, uh, which are here, and then there's more of a square corner. So it kind of actually shows you, um, you know, what way this goes in. So I set that down. And then I'm actually just going to take the uh, uh, top of that and just set it on in there. Okay, so to remove the uh, air intake here front that goes to the air filter, um, we just basically unscrew these two hose clamps and pop this whole unit off and out. Um, I disconnected this hose uh, from here. There's a clip here and a clip in the back right there that this goes into. I'm going to end up, for, for this uh, purpose, I'm going to end up replacing this hose because it's, uh, it's very cracked and kind of dead on the end. Um, and, then, uh, and then we'll work on uh, how we removed the air filter. Um, it's a good time just to clean the inside. I just vacuumed it out and wiped it down. Um, give it a nice good clean uh, before you put everything back together. Okay, so in order to remove this here, uh, we had to disconnect this wiring harness, this wiring harness, and this wiring harness, as well as this one. Um, this one is actually uh, taped in and uh, with a little plastic wiring harness that you can squeeze underneath here, and this will pop right out. Uh, and then that will allow you to undo this bolt and this bolt, 10 millimeter, in order to pull this whole unit up. Okay, so we went ahead and uh, unplugged uh, a couple of these things here, a couple of the wiring harnesses, just to be able to get in there. You can see they have um, tabs on them. 
that you just press and uh, that will disconnect from there um, this one disconnect from there and then this one disconnect from there and that allows this to uh, freely move and uh, you can pull it out okay so here we are we're going to remove this uh, hosing unit here and uh, to do that it's 10 millimeter bolts there's one here that we remove I've already loosened it and then there's one hiding back here and uh, remove that and then I also uh, remove this hose here it basically was uh, clamped there with a little finger release and then I also remove this hose here so we'll pull that off and then this entire uh, unit will come off and just fold out of the way for us so that we can get to the bolts on the manifold. These are 8 millimeter Allens, there's four of them and then uh, there's two uh, four, uh, 14 millimeter nuts, one here and one here that I've already loosened. So I've loosened all the bolts uh, the 14 on nut on the end, the 8 millimeter bolts, the four of them in the middle, and that 14 on the end there. So now that we've undone the bolts, we can actually remove this bracket here and take it out before removing the manifold. So here's the manifold that we need to remove on the 2005 Toyota Camry V6. Um, there are four uh, 8 millimeter Allen bolts. One, two, three, and then four. And there are two 14 millimeter nuts. There's one uh, right here, and then there's one hiding right there. Now, this is a little bit, I've raised it already, so you can see how I've kind of pulled it off. Again, there were three mounts in the back. Um, one on this mount here, there's a mount right behind here that you can't see uh, can't see from this direction, and then there's a mount on the throttle body, and uh, those are two 12 millimeters, and then this one is a 14 millimeter, and you got to get in there with a small wrench in order to reach that. And then we're going to uh, uh, we've removed this uh, electrical here, and we've just let I've left it all connected to the throttle body uh, just because it's flexible. I kind of just moved it out of the way. Um, so I'll show you how to uh, remove that. Now we're ready to remove the rear three spark plugs on the 2005 Toyota Camry V6. Uh, we've already moved the manifold and the throttle body out of the way, as you can see here. Um, left most of the uh, hoses connected uh, because they are flexible enough to maneuver around and it makes it a little bit easier uh, in dealing with. Um, the rear of the manifold and the throttle body have three mounts. One is here. This is the one that goes into the rear of the throttle body and the, it actually bolts from the back. That's a 14 millimeter. Uh, and then there's two over here that go into the throttle body. There's one here, again, bolts through the back. That's a 12 millimeter. And right here, that bolts through the back and that's a 12 millimeter as well. When we look down, we can see that I've already loosened up the uh, 10 millimeter bolts that you need to uh, pull the spark plugs out. So we just loosen those up and then we also um, undo the wiring harness here. You do that one, two, and underneath this hose, three. This hose here actually connects to the bottom of the throttle body and I found it easier to take it off the bottom of the throttle body and just spin this around. So now we've removed the 10 millimeter bolts and uh, pull these guys out nice and carefully. You can see that they just slide right out. Um, they're kind of suctioned in there and then there's a little rubber uh, piece you don't want to miss. That will actually mount back on here like so and there's a couple of hooks, a couple of tabs you can see right there that these hook onto. So once I clean all this up uh, I'm gonna hook this on here and then put this all back in as one piece. Here are the holes that the spark plugs are in one, two, and three, hiding back there. Um, I vacuumed them out just to uh, clean them out before I actually remove the spark plugs. So now we're going to use a 3 8 ratchet with a 6 inch extension and a 5 8 socket 
this is actually a spark plug socket, so it actually has um, a rubber gasket inside there to hold on to the spark plug as you pull it out of that shaft. This is the 3 8 ratchet with a 6 inch extension. You can see how it perfectly fits back in there. And then we we're just going to do this to all three to loosen the spark plugs. Once you've loosened the spark plugs, it's pretty easy just to turn this uh, to release them. And then with that suction on that 5 8 socket, uh, the spark plug would just pull right out. And here it is. So you can see there's the old spark plug. These spark plugs have over 98,000 miles on them. Here are the three new spark plugs we're going to put in the back of the 2005 Toyota Camry V6. Um, they're already gapped for you, so you don't have to do anything there. The other thing that we're going to use is some anti-seize compound on the threads before we put it in. And then we're also going to use some uh, dialectic grease that just keeps uh, corrosion out and uh, gives you a better connection. So here are the three new spark plugs with the dialectic grease on the ends. Um, and the anti-seize compound on the threads. So here these are all clean and um, we installed the rubber gasket. You can see they're hooked uh, with that little lip on there. So there's a right and a wrong way to put those on so just make sure you've got that. And uh, we can slide these in and get it going.